Hi folks, Mike from Caravans here. I want to take a little minute to show you how to operate our double seat swivel for the Volkswagen T5 T6 van and I'll also go through a few points of maintenance and how to keep it in tip-top condition. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to make a start. We've got our seat in its normal driving position. Now you'll notice there's two lock nuts behind the seat and two in the front. So the first thing we do is to slacken those off. Now, if they're a bit tight, just pull the seat slightly towards you and that will reduce, release some of the tension. Okay. When they're fully unscrewed, you'll find you can pull up through the little notches and these little pins pop up and then just rotate them both 90 degrees. So this one's a little bit tight, so I'm just gonna pull that seat towards me a couple of pulls and again, unscrew this one. And then when it comes up, rotate and it'll lock in the up position. Same on the front. There's a little bit more room for your hands in the front, which makes it a little bit quicker. That's that one up. And finally the fourth one. And that's that in the up position. And then you come into the back of the van. Now the first thing you want to do is push the whole thing kind of towards the steering wheel. So you're going forwards and across, okay? So it'll, it'll, it'll just go until it won't go any further. I've still got the handbrake on. I've moved this armrest uh, into the up position. The vehicle's in gear just for safety. Now we're gonna rotate it anti-clockwise. So we simply continue to slightly push towards the windscreen and rotate. You'll notice it just touches the handbrake as it comes around. And then when we get to this position, the seat squab cushion just rubs that pillar, that door pillar, as it comes round. But it just ease it round, it'll all come round quite simply. Now when we get to this position, it's still, it won't go any further forward. I'm still turning it. And now I'm just starting to pull it back a little bit as I rotate it. And at this point, I then push it towards that other corner, like that. If this armrest has got caught, you can pull it back. And then we simply continue to rotate. Again, this gets caught a little bit. Okay, and that's it. That's the seat rotated. Now, the more times you do it, the easier it'll become. But it's, it's really quite straightforward. When you get to this position, you can leave it in its rearmost position to give you more room in the back. Or if you're going to set up camp for a while, you can move it forward and put one of these lock nuts back in and just tighten that up and that'll just mean it's more secure. Otherwise, it's gonna be sort of sitting on its pivot point. Um, the other thing you can do, if you wanna come into the back of the van a little bit more, you can pull it to there and it'll still be fine to use like that. Okay, so that's how to rotate it. And then to put it back again, it's um, very much the same process, but in reverse. So we're gonna be going clockwise. So let's just do that. We'll push it towards the dashboard. We're gonna rotate it clockwise. Okay, very straightforward. Now I've just pulled it back slightly towards me. Now I'm gonna get this corner past that pillar. You'll notice here, don't know if you can see that, it's just about touching the handbrake. So I'm just gonna slide it. You've gotta be very careful. It doesn't just pop the button on the handbrake and drop it off. You can slide it past that and get it back to this position. And then when it comes to locking it, line up the top plate with the bottom plate, release these two bolts from their upper position, do a little bit of a wiggle to get them both engaged. Now I wouldn't put those in tight just yet. When they're engaged, then come round to the front and do the same with the front ones. And when you've got all four engaged, in their positions, you can tighten them down and then come around the back and just tighten these down. Now you don't need to go super tight on these. Finger tight is fine. The tighter you go, the harder it's gonna to be to release it when you wanna turn your seat around. So that'll be fine. That's a rock solid, no rattles, super safe position to be in. And obviously you've still got access in the double seat to put all your stuff that you need in there. 
So that's a quick overview of how to, um, how to rotate it. Now there's a couple of pointers in terms of maintenance. I mean, they're very, very low maintenance items really. Um, the only thing we would recommend doing is probably once or twice a year, maybe spray a little bit of light oil onto the screws here to stop them seizing up, especially if you haven't used your swivel much. Um, and the other thing we can do to keep it spinning nice and freely, I'll just unlock it again. So what we can see, when we start to slide it, you can see that this is our glide layer. So this is a very low friction plastic layer. Now, in theory, that should just move very easily. What you may find on occasion is that that gets a bit dirty or it gets sand in it. So you want to keep it as clean as possible. Um, and the other thing you can put on there is just a bit of silicon spray. Okay. And that just helps things glide even more smoothly. You may not find that's necessary. But the slippier that, that motion is, the easier it's going to be. So that's just a quick overview of our double seat swivel. Uh, we also do it for a few other makes of van um, and the process will be very similar. So hopefully that's helped. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.